Monument 6 burner clear view gas grill review. Now, if you are looking for a gas grill, when it comes to options and features, this gas grill from Monument has them all. So grab that extra LP tank, Rich. We're gonna amplify some backyard barbecue fun. The first thing that we always check for when a new pit comes in is how is the packaging? And the Monument, it was packaged pretty dang good. My boys did say that they were pretty impressed how Monument is using all the available space in that box. As far as assembly, it was a typical gas grill assembly. It took my boys about an hour and a half to put together. With having a side burner and a sear zone, you do have a couple more gas lines and wires to connect. The best way to do it is just start from the battery pack and connect each wire as you work out to the burners. The overall build quality on the Monument 6 burner is slightly above average from your typical box store gas grill. Once we had it all put together, I did what I like to call the burn off. And what really impressed me is every single one of these burners lit up immediately. Sometimes when you get a brand new gas grill, you open up the tank and it takes a little while for the ignite. Not with the Monument 6 burner, it was instant. So that's a pretty big bonus to me. I didn't have to adjust any igniters or mess with the burners. All I had to do was light it up, set a timer for about 30 minutes and burn off all the machining oils from the manufacturing process. This is also a great time to turn up or turn down some of those knobs so you can see where your temp levels are at. But remember, the temperature gauge on the lid, that's a ballpark reading throughout the chamber. It's not an exact temp throughout that whole pit. This pit produces 90,000 BTUs. The six main burners produce 72,000 BTUs. The remaining 18,000 BTUs are in the side burner and the sear zone. How they're split up, I'm not really sure, but my guess is they're probably about 9,000 a piece. You have an electronic ignition on it, which is ran by four AA batteries which obviously also runs our LED lights. The six main burners in this pit are made out of 304 stainless steel. The lid in part of the chamber is made out of 430 stainless steel. The difference between the two is that the 430 has a tad less corrosion resistance, but that helps keep this pit a little bit more budget friendly. The clear view heat resistant tempered glass makes it so nice to be able to check on a cook instead of opening up the lid and letting all that heat escape. All you gotta do is just look inside. Man, it's doing pretty good or well, I better flip them. But you have to admit these blue lights are really cool on these knobs because that's gonna help you adjust your temps in the dark. The Monument 6 burner has a total of 900 square inches of cooking space. We have 634 square inches on the bottom main rack. The top rack has 266 and works great for just keeping things warm. I really do like the style of these stainless steel coated grates. They're really easy to get out and easy to clean. Here's a pro tip. After every single cook, just turn those knobs up to max and let them burn off any debris that's built up on those racks. This just makes it a heck of a lot easier to clean up. This is a pretty big pit. It's 62 inches long. 46 inches tall and about 22 inches wide. So obviously you're gonna need a little extra space for this pit. The sear zone on this pit is awesome. It did a fabulous job on two reverse seared ribeyes that I cooked. All I did was light it up and let it preheat for a few minutes and then seared them ribeyes tight. The side burner works great for boiling up some noodles or just to keep your beer brats nice and warm. You can also grab a skillet, throw it on there and cook up a little breakfast. You have a nice little storage cabinet where you can keep like your cover or any other barbecue supplies. And on this side, you have a great spot to store your tank. I just love it how you flip up this lid and it'll swing right out. It makes it super simple to change out your tank. It also has this nice little way to lock it down. We have four rotating and locking casters, which makes this pit okay to move around, but because it's more of that office furniture type of caster, 
it isn't the smoothest. It is nice that all four of them can lock, so you can lock it in place. These casters though, they're not the best quality build. Now, some add-on accessories that I think you should be looking at is number one, the rotisserie. It's $60. And if you've never cooked on a rotisserie, it makes some of the best chicken you'll ever have in your life. And this particular model runs pretty dang good for 60 bucks. If you plan on storing this pit outside, I highly suggest you get the cover. This is also 60 bucks, but in the long run, if it keeps the weather off from it, it's worth it. And the last accessory that I suggest is if you cook at night or you work second shift, get this little LED light. There's a USB input right above the power button for the lights, you just plug it in. Now the flexible cord, it's not the longest, but you can get it positioned so you can see your cook. The cleanup procedure on the Monument is basically the same as every gas grill out there. Clean up the grates and the flame tamers, then take out that bottom grease trap, clean that up, and also take off the drip pan. I always use a plastic scraper to clean it up. This way I'm not gouging any metal, and it really does honestly worked pretty good. My experience with the Monument has been great. I was very happy and pleased with every single cook that I did on this pit. I tell this to people all the time. I don't always follow it, but on this pit I did. Every single time you get a new grill, you should cook chicken, especially dark meat because it's pretty forgiving. And I even add a little smoke to it by using one of Monument's smoke boxes. I did learn something from my good buddy Lou over at Big Lou's Barbecue. He said, Ricer, you don't have to leave it on the top of the grate. It actually fits right in between two of the gas burners. So thanks, Lou. I really appreciate it and it works great. And if you haven't heard of Big Lou's Barbecue, I'll put a link for his channel in the description below and make sure you go over and check him out, but tell him Ricer sent you. Oh yeah, you can leave a comment below and thank me because you bought the rotisserie because now you're eating some of the best chicken you've ever cooked in your life. 60 bucks, I mean, seriously, 60 bucks. It's a no brainer, the monument works great for cooking up cheeseburgers and making up some brats and hot dogs because you gotta feed an army of kids, you know? Birthday parties, this pit's gonna dominate. It's pretty dang easy to grill up some shrimp and nail them to perfection compared to like cooking them in a pan and then they turn rubbery and not so good. This is gonna boost up a little flavor cause it's getting a little kiss of fire. And then it's gonna add a little bit of char and everybody likes a tad of char flavor on some grilled shrimp. A great thing about having so many features on this Monument gas grill is that you can do all your cooking on one pit. The days of you having to run back and forth from the grill into the house to the stove are over. It's just great to be able to cook up a whole meal in one spot. Some of you might be wondering what's my opinion on the Monument 6 burner Clearview gas grill. It's very positive. I think for the price, with all these features and accessories, I got this pit for under a thousand dollars. And this pit certainly is made for a larger family or somebody who likes to entertain people a lot. I guarantee you this pit will entertain and it will help you enhance and amplify your backyard barbecue fun. If there was one thing that I would love to see Monument change on this six burner gas grill is 100% swap out those cheaper office chair type casters and get some good poly ones. Make sure they still rotate, but if you're not planning on moving it around a lot, these casters will work fine. Other than that, I think you're getting a very good pit at a very good price. And if you aren't interested in the features that I told you about, the rotisserie though, I'm telling you, you can thank me. But without that, this pit comes in at $749 today when I film this video, I check the website. Typically it runs $799. So 800 bucks, you got a workhorse that can do a lot. Well, that's all I got. Roll the nation.